These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> all right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here and today is all about this right here. No, not the device, you lunatic. It's the bridge from the inside. It's the Blaze Bridge. My vapes. Thunderhead Creations. He's got a restricted lung little banger of a bridge here. From what I understand, this was once the Eclipse Bridge didn't quite happen. Thunderhead Creations swooped in with Mike Vapes, like a like running with a football. And here we are at the finish line with the Blaze Bridge. I've been using it quite a bit. Restricted lung, three millimeter airflow in the bottom. It's nice. It's flavor. Like the flavor is undeniably good in this. It's a restricted lung Boro RBA. So the flavor's probably going to be pretty good just because it's a restricted lung Boro RBA. Small little chamber, reduced airflow that's, that only translates into flavor. This is my third rewick of this, and, and I think I got it down. I think I figured it out. There it is, the Blaze Bridge sitting inside the Tycoon. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get this out of here. We're gonna re-wick this, rinse it all out. My Vapes, Thunderhead Creations, the Blaze. So this is the black on black. You can't see the Blaze logo right here because it's just matte black on matte black. But this is the version of the Blaze that comes with a Boro tank, a front fill Boro tank. If I wanted to use this Blaze bridge inside of a standard, like more traditional Boro tank, I would need to use a different chimney. From what I understand, these are slightly different sizes, which I'm not gonna lie, like that's kind of a bummer. It's honestly kind of a bummer. It seems kind of unnecessary. Why did this tank have to be smaller and need a smaller chimney than if it went into a regular Boro tank, like part of the appeal of Boros is that they're kind of cross compatible and this sort of bucks that. I did get a 1.2 millimeter airflow, a two millimeter airflow, 2.5 millimeter airflow, and the three millimeter airflow is in there right now. Now, before we start taking this thing apart, we can look at the bottom and see that there's, yeah, look at that, a little airflow control kind of on the bottom. It's not gonna do a whole hell of a lot to control the airflow, but it's nice to see some adjustment down there. Three millimeter pin on the bottom, like I said, and the way that Mike designed this, I can take this pin out, swap out the airflow literally whenever I want. It won't mess up the deck. It won't mess up my build on the end inside. Let's get this rinsed. And you can get a better look at that Blaze logo on there, just the black on black. These chimneys thread out. So if they need to be swapped, if this needs to go into another Boro billet box tank, threaded. Nice. Now this is the deck. That is just a two and a half millimeter twisted Timmy's five millimeter clip right down. Just drop it into the postless deck. This can easily, easily fit a three millimeter coil. And I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna call Mike a genius right now, but the airflow on this is kind of freaking genius. It comes in through the bottom and then out right there and then up and then at your coil through these, you know, like Eclipse style sort of airflow cradle. It makes the airflow smooth, makes the airflow even and makes the flavor really pop on this. Obviously super extra super bonus points for having just 510 threading on the bottom. That's that's my favorite feature in any Boro RBA ever. Just give me some 510 threading. Get these staggered fuse Clapton's glowing evenly. Now my only real pro tip here for the wicking of this is brush those wicks. Brush them. Brush them, brush them, brush them. Comb them, brush them, thin them, whatever you call it, do it. The first time I did this, I wicked it perfectly. The second time I did it, I wicked it, man, way too tight. I was getting all sorts of dry hits and it was 100% my fault. And we can see that little cup right there that the wick's gonna go in. It's a, it's a GTA style bridge. So I will trim my cotton a little bit longer so that it has enough room. I wanna make sure that it's got enough room to go in there and maybe even poke out the bottom just, just a hair, just ever so slightly. But we gotta comb this out first. And when I say comb this out, I mean, Comb it out like you would, even maybe a little bit more than you normally would. Oh yeah, I gotta get the under tickle there. Uh, flip it, thumb it, sweep it, doesn't matter. Just 
put the cotton down in there. I'm happy to see it went straight through and I just have a, a slight amount of cotton poking out the bottom. Yes, cotton, beautiful, perfect. Yes, cotton, beautiful, perfect. Yes, there's the top cap, beautiful, perfect. Shout out to From the Hood, Kaz. This is Dunsky Iced Caramel Latte. Delicious. Juice that up. This is the home stretch. Top cap fits right on over. Unscrew this. Popping this into the base. And this is my second favorite feature of this RBA. The cutouts. Look at this. This is just is genius. This right here. That angular cut. That angular cut. So that the wicks are kind of always right there. There's nothing like blocking them or intruding on that liquid getting to the wicks. I mean, shit, sorry, not sorry. This is a really well thought out RBA base with the exception of the two chimneys, really well thought out. Slides so easily into the tank and the way that this tank is designed, I can take out the bottom and the chimney will stay in there. So if this is full of liquid, maybe I need to get in here, fiddle with my build, fiddle with my wicks. I can then it goes right back in. Boop, so easy. Because that tycoon doesn't love filling billet boxes and borrow stuff from the front. I'm gonna fill it up now before we get it in the device. Obviously the rubber fill port on the front makes this super easy to fill. Keep the play area clean. Look, it's, that's undeniably, that's a cool bridge in a cool tank. Uh, well, here's the thing. I put this bridge in and tank in completely backwards. Can't fill it from the front but I feel like Mike knew that I was gonna do that. And that's why there's a fill port on this side of the tank for when idiots like me put it in backwards. Thanks, Mike. I mean, that flavor is undeniably good. It is undeniably strong, nice, good flavor. I'm generally not the biggest, <laughs> you know, like the hugest fan of restricted lung. I tend to lean a little bit more either towards just a lot of airflow, big cloud chasey stuff, or like a, like a pretty tight mouth to lung. The middle bits, the restricted lung stuff, never really, really hit with me. It was never really my favorite thing over the years and after using so many bridges and so many billet box and so much restricted lung stuff, it, it's found a little special place in my heart. I'm, I'm a fan nowadays of restricted lung stuff and this blaze bridge is just restricted lung <laughs> chef's kiss. The three millimeter airflow, nice. I mean, for restricted lung, real very nice. It's as smooth as I think it can possibly be. To this day, I've never really had a boro bridge in a restricted lung that was overly smooth airflow. Every single, and I think I mean every single restricted lung boro bridge that I have ever used has an edge of sharpness to the airflow and this blaze bridge, as smooth as it is, with that little cradle of airflow, as smooth as it is, it still has uh, an edge of sharpness to it. And I think that's just an unescapable, you know, like restricted lung boro thing. And with the exception of that chimney, that extended chimney piece, it's just very confusing. It just seems out of character for the things that Mike has designed in the past because everything else about this top to bottom has been thought out, has been gone over, feels deliberate, feels meticulous. I mean, the way that those cutouts are shaped for the wicks, it, it's brilliant. The way the airflow works and functions through the bottom and then goes through the cradle, great. It's all really, really well thought out and honestly, Thunderhead Creations, really well machined. All the O-rings feel nice, all the metal bits, all the metal parts all fit together really perfectly. It's just enjoyable, pure and simple enjoyment. Everything like in my heart of hearts is telling me that I need to give this 10 banana stickers and I just can't do it. The chimney thing is just really weirding me out and maybe I'm not understanding it completely, but I don't know why the Blaze Bridge would come with a tank that's smaller than every other tank. I don't know if this was like a post-production decision where they realized, well, these Blaze Bridges don't fit in normal Boro tanks. And then they said, well, that's okay. We'll just include an extra chimney that you can put on there. So if you wanna use it in a regular Boro tank, you can. 
I think it should work in a normal boro tank without any sort of adapters or chimneys that I need to keep track of. Billet box and boro stuff is fiddly and small and intricate and tiny enough on its own that like keeping track of tiny little airflow pins and keeping track of extra chimneys in case I want to use it in a different tank, it just seems cumbersome. I'm really not going to ding it that hard. This is going to get nine and a half full, very solid, very confident banana stickers. I feel like I could give this 10 banana stickers just based on the quality of the flavor alone. I always get a little bit worried, like a little bit skeptical when a new Mike Vapes products comes out because I have such a good track record with Mike's products. I don't think he's released anything that I've not like completely enjoyed. Maybe wasn't there a squonker one time that I was kind of like, oh, I don't really love this squonker. But literally like nine and a half times out of 10, I, I like what Mike does. You can clearly tell from vaping this that Mike is a vapor. He designed this for vapors. You can tell someone who uses, you know, Boro bridges and Boro RBAs a lot is the person that designed this. It's really well thought out, really good flavor. This is actually what rambling looks like. So I can't tell you exactly how much these cost, and I can't tell you exactly where to get them, but I think I can say element vape. And that's literally all I can say. Look, Mike said element, so I can say element. And one last thing is if you are a person who currently smokes tobacco cigarettes, it's time to switch. I believe in you. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a whole new world of less harmful nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single effing day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. Yeah.